pretty wet commute on the school bus this morning as kids in Bartlesville are getting ready to head back to school today. That's right. That means books, homework, and in-class assignments for thousands returning to the classroom this morning. That's right. Our Project Safe Schools reporter Tatiana Taylor is live for us outside of Bartlesville High School right now. And Tatiana, you got a chance to speak with a mom and a student who have made that decision to go back in person. What did they have to say about starting the school year during the pandemic? Well, Travis, uh, Corey, Tracy, and Ronnie Goad both tell me there's anxiety, stress, and some excitement in the air this morning as they prepare for their first day of school. Ronnie is a high school senior here at Bartlesville High School and says there are some things she's missing out on that would normally not happen during a school year with during a pandemic. It's kind of upsetting because I feel like I've been so excited for it all four years and now I don't really get to experience it. Rainy Goad is a senior at Bartlesville High School and also a captain of the Palm Team. While many prepare for an unusual first day of school this morning, she's getting ready for her last first day of high school. It's kind of upsetting because I just wish it could be normal. I just wanted to all be back to normal, but I mean, people are doing everything that they can, so we're all really appreciative of that. Rainey says she's trying to keep an open mind and stay positive about it all, but the list of new rules and new worries keeps growing. We started practicing and we had our performance last week, and but whenever practice starts, we have to take temperatures before we go in, and if it's too high, you have to get sent home. Bartlesville Public Schools gave families the choice, return to the classroom or learn online. About 80% chose to go back in person, including Rainey, and her younger brother. Mom, Tracy Goad, says her kids chose to go back into the classroom. Our youngest one really wants to be in person all day, and Rainy will be um, at the school part of the day, and then she'll be doing um, concurrent college classes and an internship, so she won't actually be here all day. And the family agrees they can't wait for the life to return to a pre-pandemic normal. They say school could be the first step. I'm looking forward to them um, getting back to school, getting back to some sense of a normalcy, um, getting the school year started. And I just hope that everyone has a good year and that everyone is able to stay safe and well. All month long, we'll be bringing you details on how Green Country will be heading back to school live every morning at 5 and 6 a.m. So stay tuned and go to KGRH.com for additional details live. In Bartlesville, I'm Tatiana Taylor to Works For You. Thanks, Tatiana.